just stick, you know, just stick to what I'm working on. You know, not, not get to the open and see something happen and panic. You know, it's just having the confidence to practice on what you want to work on and then go to the rope in and stick with it, but still be aggressive, you know, still, still try to win. Well, and uh, it's when we say these things and you say that, I mean, you might have felt like you're closer, but open roping, you have to ride the line. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're in the practice pin right here, well, you could stay away from him and heal everyone yeah. and feel good about it. But as soon as you put 150 teams up and put a <laughs> clock on it, well, go on and make an eight second run. Yes, yeah, sir. Is, you're going to feel real terrible. Yes, yeah, sir. So that, I think that's the thing is when you say you want to do this and that's your goal, mm-hmm. but you also got to ride the line of being, you know, between being too close and, yeah, and, and do that. Like you don't want to feel like you're too conservative. So yes, yeah, sir. I, I think that's really important to understand is you, you might have maybe teetered a little too far mm-hmm. one way on a few runs yeah but to be able to pull it back in and get to a good spot is really important and and i think that's just that that's what it takes and as, as a guy progresses with his healing and i i bet i mean i bet you know it really well because over the last three or four years your healing has gotten so much better every single year right yes sir uh i think i think so but it, you know it's it's just a. Uh, it, I was I was really happy, you know. It was a it was a big win for the day, and I was really happy about that. But I was I was really happy with myself and and my roping after that. You know, it's I don't feel like this year, you know, has been that good of a year for jackpotting for me. You know, I've gotten some spots to do good and haven't done good, and so for me to to you know do this probably you know the last big jackpot before we leave for the summer. Uh, that, you know, that did a lot for me and that, that made me happy because it's just, it's frustrating how, you know, how much work you put into it and how much effort goes into how many steers you run and then to go to the rope end and let something silly keep you from winning. And, you know, I've done, I've done it all year this year, you know, well, it'd be good and maybe slip a leg or brought Cresto or third high call, lay it beside him. You know, there's, but it it happens and so just for me it was a it was a really big win for me and i was i was really happy about it um happy with my horse you know i've been riding this horse all all this year and i've i feel like i've felt something with him that you know since i started riding him you know that he that he is really good and a special horse but it's taken me having to stay hooked and stay hooked with him and and trust what i was feeling on him and uh he, you know, it all, it all just, it came, it came together right there. And, you know, definitely the work isn't done and the next jackpot's going to be the same thing. You know, I'm going to have to show up and I'm going to have to heal, heal them. And, uh, but I was, I was happy. I was happy with this. I, I mean, I got to agree with that, you know, and, and building on, on your runs is really important, but, uh, what about mentally, you know, when you, when you say, Hey, I haven't had quite the year, you know, and, mm-hmm. and so going back to it, you you get to make your first NFR this yep. last year. Is there pressure, you know, after making your first NFR, and then do you expect to to do better winning the jackpots or, or being around a guy like Cody Snow? Does that he kind of keep you humbled up a little bit? He'll, as far as he'll, like, he'll keep you humbled up, you know. <laughs> but uh, but no, you know, I I think like uh, you know you know making the finals and stuff, and I was I had a lot of confidence about that, and then you know went to the finals and it was it wasn't great you know I didn't heal very good was not happy with anything that I was doing with my roping and was you know that was as frustrated you know as frustrated as I've been for in a long time you know as frustrated with my roping as I've as I've been with in a long time you know but uh it's just you know so coming coming back from that and then going to the jackpots you know I want you know, I wanted to win a lot. I wanted to win all the time, but then it's still just, it was like, you know, I'd be good and I'd mess up on, you know, one run that mattered. And then it, you know, it keeps you from winning that day. And it was just, it's just been, it's just been a battle, you know, it's just been a battle to, you know, you know, keep, keep wanting to practice and keep wanting to put the effort in and, and all that stuff and go to, the, you know, go to all the jackpots and it's expensive, but, you know, I, I love roping more than anything, you know. I I love to rope, I, and so it it hasn't been anything bad, you know. I've just I just feel like I've had to work a lot, and I think, you know, I want to go back, and I feel like I've got something to prove, and 
I, I think I, I'm ready for the summer. You know, I think this horse is going to be a good deal for the summer, but I just, uh, I've been work, just been working on a lot of, you know, just trying to just stay strong with my mental game and trying to just catch the steers and be confident in catching the steers and be confident in what I'm working on. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been tough, but it, it's, it's good. So this weekend, you know, I was, I was happy and I still feel, you know, I felt good about the rodeos. We've gone to the rodeos and they haven't been bad this year. Um, you know, we've ha- had some, uh, you know, had some little things go wrong at quite a few of the big ones, you know, like we'll be, you know, the rodeos where it'll, they'll take, you know, they have the semifinals and stuff like that. And you yeah. got to make it out of your sets. And, you know, like do good in one round. And then like at Fort Worth, you know, we do good on our first one, no good on the second one. Then third one, I get a chance to win the day money and that would have brought us back. I hit the horn, you know, just just lots of little things have happened. But I think it's I think in the long run, it's going to make me a better roper and a better competitor. And um, I don't know. I'm ready for it. I'm, yeah, I like that. OK, so I, I got to ask a few questions on this. Um you you love roping, right? Yeah. That, when did when did you know like, hey, I this is what I want to do. This is what, I'm I'm really enjoying it because it, I, I'm telling you there there isn't a day that I don't remember not wanting to rope for forever. You know that's that's all I've ever wanted to do. Whenever whenever I was little, I I roped goats. I roped goats all day long. You know, and if it didn't matter if my parents were telling me to go catch a horse to go fill up waters. I had a kid rope with me without a doubt. And if somebody was with me, I was going to be taking some shots at them or I was going to be throwing my rope at something along the way. But I mean, really there, there's never been a time in my life where I didn't think that this is what I want to do. And, uh, I think, I think it's, I think that's, you know, helped me get, get to where I am. But, uh, I just, you know, I can't even imagine doing anything else. I love riding horses. I, I love roping. I love everything about the cowboy way of life. You know, I, it, I, I can't imagine doing anything else. Okay. So that's really important to identify, right? Yeah. And then there's ways you get to test this out because like you, you said earlier, it's hard to sometimes go practice or like the desire to mm-hmm. practice. Mm-hmm. When you have, like, for example, maybe it was the NFR point, or are there times where, like, you know, some of the jackpots where things aren't going your way? Like, it, does it get hard to get back into the practice pin the very next day? Or do you, like, have something you want to work at? Do you need time off? Or what What? what kind of keeps the discipline to to keep working at it? I, you know, like, uh, so, like, a- after the finals, that was probably as down as I've ever been about roping in general or, my, you know, especially my roping. I was... You know, just just mad at myself, just because, you know, I have wanted to rope for so long, and you know, since I was a little kid, that's all I've ever thought about. You know, is making the NFR, and and you know, I was not wanting it to go the way that it did. You know, I was wanting to do a lot better and had a lot higher hopes for myself. And you know, I think towards the towards the end of it, like in the middle of, of the finals, you know, I wasn't happy, but I still felt good you know I thought every night we went into it you know I knew there was a lot of money to be won and I felt good about it and uh but you know right after I was I was down for a minute but by the time I mean by the time we got home I was ready to run steers again and and you'd be like you know let's let's get after it because it was it was really frustrating for me but you know I don't ever get that down after jackpots or like going going to the rodeos you know i'm not always happy if i don't do good but i'm ready to run steers and work on it and you know the the nfr was the was the that was for sure as down as i've ever been about you know wanting to go run steers or something like that you know and so but like i said it didn't take it didn't take but the drive back and i was ready you know i wanted to run the steers again and and figure out what was going on and uh I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Well, no. I think. I think it's important, right? Because when you say you love it, yeah. If you love it, well, having a bad NFR. I, I mean, I wouldn't know. Um, haven't haven't even really got close. But if if you do have a bad NFR, it's it's got to be the oddest thing, like to your mind, because you've got this. Like you said, you've been wanting to do it since you're a kid. Mm-hmm. It's your dream, 
and then the dream kind of turns into a nightmare. Oh, well, and that and that's what that's kind of where I was at for a second. I was like, you know, this is this is what I've you know worked <laughs> yeah. for, and I and I do this like, the, you know, seriously, everything that I've done since I was a kid was you know leading up leading up to that spot, and then I and then I show up and rope like this, you know. I was I was just you know disgusted with myself, you know. So I was so disappointed just in everything that I did because I you know those steers aren't that hard to heal they they aren't bad and and i and i know i can heal them and that's what was frustrating is because if it was just like i went in there and i was like i don't i don't even know you know i can't it's it's too hard or it's this or that it but it didn't feel like that to me it just felt like i wasn't executing anything you know i didn't feel like i had my rope in the right spot felt like i was riding terrible position and just i i just didn't feel like i was doing anything right and but yeah after you know i was just like wow you know this is this is what i've worked for and then and then i do this so they, that part was really frustrating for me there for a minute but it's just given me more drive i mean i want to now i i want you know i want to prove you know i, I don't have to feel like I, anybody is you know waiting for me to prove anything but it, i want to prove to myself that I can go back and, you know, I'm supposed to be there and I, and, and I can heal the Sears, you right. know? Well, I think when you, when you love it, yeah, um, you can look at it a little more objectively, right? Like it doesn't, it, when guys in certain situations get put in a big environment or a big situation and they fail, it, it crushes them. Mm-hmm. And I think it crushes them because they have like, all this external belief in what other people think and of, of uh-huh. them. And they like, they're like, you know, they're not what they're supposed to be. And they maybe get exposed for something that they, that they, you know, are not. And, yeah. they, and they really want to have that mm-hmm. perception of like, Hey, I'm, I'm this guy and I do it this way. Yeah. But I think when you love it, you don't really care about that. Like it sucks that that happens. Yeah. Like, but you also know like, well, I'm just going to go home and I, now I got some things to work on and it yeah. gets better. And, and it's kind of devastating, but also you can get that like, Hey, I, I, I got some things I want to work on. I yeah. know that wasn't my best stuff. Yeah. But I also go to this too. What's, what's wild is you probably ran a lot of steers, right? Yeah. And, and there were some days practicing probably for the NFR that you were the man and you, you probably healed. Yeah. Every steer you got turned or you felt like you were getting them all. Yeah. And then you might have one or two days in there where if you got 10 turned, you might have missed w- way more than what you expect out of yourself. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that can happen at home. Well, it can also happen uh, over a 10-day period yeah. too, right? So yeah. it's like, but no, man, I, I think as as someone like establishes that um, kind of enjoying roping like you do, it makes it easier to just work at it all the time. And I think people that want to work at it like that, those are the ones that get really great at things because it the winning it, it's great, but you're not going to quit because you lose. Yeah. And and I think that's that's really important to have that and I think that's what it takes to be one of the the, the high-end competitors in, in any sport or business or whatever it is, right? Yeah, you know, I mean I and it and it def, you know, I it it's not even being you know being okay with losing because I I don't like losing and I I winning you know I mean I mean you know there that's like the best I mean for me I know whenever I win something like it's like the best feeling in the world because you do put all this effort into it you know you run so many steers and ride so many horses and and do all this stuff to work on getting better and then so whenever you go win it's just a uh, you know, it just feels like, to me, it feels like, you know, I accomplished something then, you know, like it feels like, you know, what I'm working on is, is, is working a little bit, you know, or I can start to see some results, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I, I can't, I, I love, I love the ride, you know, I love riding horses, you know, I'll, and that's one of the nice part of, you know, about going and roping at Cody's, you know, he, he rides a ton of head horses. I can bring as many horses as I want to bring you know, no matter what he's going to make sure i get through all of them and and you know we don't ease through them we get we get through them but we run quite a few steers on on all of them and you know make a make a bunch of runs in the day and and that's that's fun for me you know i mean it doesn't it doesn't feel like work it doesn't feel like i'm 
you know, it, 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 I'm not putting, it doesn't even feel like I'm putting out any extra effort. You know, it, that, that ju- is just like what I want to do. You know, I, I, I love that part. So let's talk about the confidence side of things. Uh, was that a big hit to your confidence, like the NFR this year and maybe some of the jackpot? Um, or what do you feel like that? Like, because you, you mentioned your mental game. So the, the first thing I think is well, what, what happens there when, when things don't go your way or you're not executing like you, you know you can at mm-hmm. home? Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely it messed with my confidence a little bit, I think. And, and it's weird because I, I don't feel like it changed anything for me for the rodeo aspect you know even though that was at you know at a at a big rodeo <clears throat> but at the rodeos i'm i'm really confident in the in the way that i you know where the spot that i ride to and the way i swing my rope and the way I, and how i put it down i i think that you know i'm just i'm really confident in that on fast aggressive shots you know it, there's not much thought that goes into it but the the jackpotting part you know, that's like my, you know, that's my constant battle. And there's so many jackpots that you, you know, it's really expensive if you don't do, do good at them. And, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think it, it, I think that it, my confidence changed a little bit after that, just on, you know, being able to get to the spot where I need to catch and ca- and catch the steers. And, uh, you know, like before the NFR, like before we left for the summer last year, I felt like my jackpotting was good and I felt like my mental game was really good. I just felt like th- I was really confident in everything I was doing. There was no other, you know, really thoughts coming into my head other than, you know, roping the steer for what he is. And, and you know, if we if if we get, get, get good enough steers, you know, we're going to get paid. But if we catch all of them and don't get paid, it's not a big deal. And so I feel like it's been hard to get back to that spot, um, but it feels better. It feels better now than it than it has. And uh, I don't know, you know. I like I said, I feel I feel good about the rodeo and and that that doesn't bother me. But the jackpotting, it's just there's so many steers and there's so many things that can go wrong. And I think another thing, you know, after I got back from the NFR, I'm I was maybe changing stuff with my swing a little bit or like. You, you know, I wasn't keeping my swing in the same spot. You know, what no matter what it's no no matter what the steer does, no matter what my horse does, keep my swing in the same spot and put it on the ground. I don't feel like I was doing that very good. I was real loose and like if something would change, then I would change. And uh so yeah, I I've been that's been my, you know, practicing, that's been what I've been working on is just trying to stay really um <clears throat> just discipline with my swing and with my horses and uh yeah so i don't know that's kind of where i've been at with that but well i think when you say the thoughts come in your head because that that really hits home for me because when whenever i want i want to tweak on stuff all the time Mm -hmm. and especially the more i wrote or the more i do like something like that like i want to break it down and i'm like oh what if i do try it like this what if i try it like this yes sir and then then when you're competing and it it is not going good Mm -hmm. or something happens in competition, you will, I can, you know, you start tweaking on it and tweaking on it. Uh, it, So I think there's this line of, you have to like find the balance between fixing things and tweaking on your your swing or your riding or whatever, or even making like owning your swing, owning your style and making it better and making it translate better. And there's kind of those two ways of looking at it. I think if you look at it the second way, it makes it a little easier to go into uh, competition and and kind of know what you're doing feels the right way. Yeah. Is that that kind of what you've noticed? Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that, and that's it is like, you know, just doing what, doing what you practice and stay and staying with it and not, not changing because something happens in the run or something happens in the rope and you know and and that's what I feel like I didn't do good at the finals you know whenever it did start not going good then you know I'm going to practice and I'm riding different horses and you know doing all this stuff trying to trying to fix it because it was like you know it was like a panic like a scramble like oh crap this isn't going good I got I got to do something different right and uh so I think, yeah, I've been, you know, I've been trying to get back to that spot where I'm just really confident in everything I'm doing and, you know, where I'm putting my horses or what horses I'm riding. And, 
it, you know, that's 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 been tough, you know, but that, that's been the battle right now. But I like it. I'm really confident in this horse. I'm really confident in, you know, what I've been doing with my roping here lately. And uh I I'm I'm ready to go back back to the finals. Right. Yeah. Right. I think that's the key is uh, being in a, a spot where you believe in what you're doing mm. and, and can and can constantly stay there because it, it takes that. And uh, and then when you add it, like you said, you can have the bad days at, mm. the, at the jackpots, and you but you're still roping and you're working at it. And I think you just constantly keep building on it and you can build on it in the right way. Is, is that something like you've learned from being around Cody Snow a lot and some guys like that? Because the one thing you've done a really good job is you're around some – I, you you go to Cody Snow's have been going to Cody Snow's for the last couple of years, right? Yes, sir. Um, yeah, you know, like he's just a he, he's just not an excuses guy, you know. And he's like just real, uh, you know. He's a no it, he's it, a no bullshit guy he, for a young guy that it's amazing to to have one that's he'll be straight up with you. Won't yeah, he? yeah, for sure. Like like if you know. It, let's say I I do something, you know, I let off and get a leg and, and you know, let the steer get out in front of me, slip a leg. You know, in his mind, he's like, well, why don't you just don't do that anymore? <laughs> don't do that. that you know, it's not going to work. Don't do it. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's for sure it's easier said than done. But, you know, that's that's kind of how I try to look at it is like, you know, th this works somewhere sometimes, but it doesn't work all the time. So yeah, don't 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 try to do that anymore. And he's but he's really good about that, you know. He's and he one thing that he's really good about that I would like to be better at is uh you know, Cody, he can get he can back in the box. It doesn't matter if it's at a 12 slide, a uh you know, a little rinky dink jackpot or if it's at the biggest jackpot in the world. Whenever he backs in the box, I mean, he's about to nail the start and put it on the horns like he means it you know he there's no float he doesn't float and hang and and i think what i like about that is it just takes out the room for error like and that's where he gets the well don't do that anymore you know because if you know if you float and you're planning on a shot head and then the steer steps to the right and you miss or whatever then you know, like he, you don't see him do a lot of stuff like that because he's so aggressive from the start to going to the steer and putting it on the horns. You know, there's just not a lot of not a lot of room for error. Right. And I I think that you know that's that's helped me. And you know, I've got to hear some of the stuff that he says about you know, like Wesley. He said he told me one time that he was talking to Wesley about jackpotting and stuff. And you know, he's like Wesley, he just. uh you know, he literally just ropes every steer for what it is. Like, you, you know, whatever you do, do not take yourself out of it. But if you if it sets up fast, heal him fast. If it doesn't set up fast, heal him heal him when when you can. But catch catch the steer and just like just like every steer though in the in the practice pen, you know, don't don't try to pull off a crazy shot in the practice pen. That was the biggest thing with my practice whenever I started uh, going and roping at Cody's. You know, I was still living in lot. And I was driving up and I'd stay at Cody's for a week and practice and go to jackpots. And uh, he, I remember him asking me one day, he's like, what are, he's like, what are you even trying to work on whenever you practice? And I was <laughs> like, I just, I just want to heal him as fast as I can. You know, I, that's, that's it. If, if, you know, if I'm not throwing as fast, if I'm not healing him on the first hop, then I did something wrong going down the arena or with my swing or something. And I think there is something to that, but it's not, uh, there's just too many jackpots and there's too many things that can go wrong for, you know, to be able to do that all the time and keep your money together. Right. You know, but, uh, so, you know, then I tried to start just catching more, you know, I'd be on a young horse and he'd kind of go at one and I'd be wide and let him get out in front of me and heal him. And he was like, why, why would you even do that? You know, why, why are you doing that? He said, catch the steer, get over the steer and catch him. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think accountability. Like he's gonna, yeah. hold, he's gonna hold you accountable because the one thing he's done, Wesley does. They've they've went through probably the toughest time of roping and gotten to a really high level as a team. Yeah, and you don't see that for a lot of young guys to get to where they're at that fast. Yes, yeah, sir. And uh, and and there is no excuses. But I think also you look at as you build a game, like what what works is he has his run 
and it's really in stone what he does, how yes, he work, has it, how his horses work, and it holds up. But he is also really like mastering what he does as a header. Yeah, the, the no excuses. Yeah, the, the work at it, like he does. It's just it's a that's a hard guy to beat because the whole the whole body of work for him is is really unique. And I yeah. think that's that's something you you know having a guy like that and then will treat you. As like, hey, when he's saying those things, it's yeah, he he means it, but yeah. it's like it's not in a mean way. It's just like, hey, this is <laughs> this is like, what? Why are you doing? What? Why does that make sense to you? Yeah, and, yeah. Well, and I mean, that's the other deal. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't want me coming over there and healing for him, and you know, and us not be making good runs. You know, that's he would rather. You know, he. He'd rather have somebody else over there healing, which I totally get because, but that's how, and you know, just how intense he is. And, 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 you know, he worries about one and, and I can guarantee you if things aren't going right, the practice is about to change or the horses are about to change or something, you know, something's about to, about to change because he's not okay with just going and then not going the way that he wants it to, you know? Yeah. But you know, I've just been, it's just been really great getting to rope with like, like Clint. I mean, I get to go rope with him, practice with him and he's got good cattle and, uh, but at, you know, at the jackpots, having him as a partner, it's just, it, it's so nice for me because it, it does actually give me a chance to work, actually work on my jackpotting and work on getting better with jackpotting. We're like, you know, if you you got a partner that you rope with every day or whatever, but then you go to the rope ends and you don't get any looks or you know you only get looks sometimes, then it really doesn't give me a chance to work on anything. I've just got to, I've got to just catch on those chances that I get, which I need to do that anyways. But with Clint, I I know he's gonna turn. I mean, he's gonna turn pretty much all of them. He's gonna handle them good. His horses are good, and he just he really lets me get to work on that actual part of my roping because you can only work on it so much in the practice pen right. you know but it's not it's not realistic i think that's a, a big thing and and as clint's kind of went from healing to heading he's put head horses together yes. he's got a really good good head swing uses horses really well and and turns a lot of steers like i remember you and i talked a little bit and it's like throughout the summer he it's he's just oh. spinning steers and and that that allows you to get rhythm find like maybe make little adjustments where you want to ride to. And, yes, sir. And I think that's how a team can get better and better by just the more steers you can catch as a team, the more you can refine it and kind of know the lines that you guys can both ride, like how much how much risk and how much more aggressive you can be. Yes, sir. And and I think that just adds chemistry. And it's just like, and I mean, just going through this rundown, like yeah. you guys used your steers the whole day and one third of that roping. Is yes, that sir. what you won? Yep. Yeah. How, how, much did, how much did you win that day just winning uh, win third and – I I won fifteen thousand that day. Fifteen thousand dollar day, and just doing your job. Nothing like. There was a couple of heel shots in there that were pretty tough, but it was like the game plan was executed. Yeah, and and I feel like you could do that at, at home, and you just brought it brought it to competition, right? Yes, sir. No, that, that's what it felt like. It, it was good. It was, I was I was really happy with it for sure. But do you think your biggest improvement in your mental game is the discipline? Uh, yes, a hundred percent. Just my, the, the biggest change, you know, like I, I really feel like I've always been able to heal steers, steers really good and, you know, had some range and, um, you know, I've always liked my, the way that I go at them at the rodeos or whatever. I, I love that style. And, uh, you know, uh, Michael Jones is who, that's who like taught me everything I know about healing. Okay. And so that's, where you know it comes the you know throwing fast every time it comes from because and because he believes in that 100 percent and he and he's really good at it he was one of the first guys <laughs> to do it really good yeah. at it and he and i i do think you know if i do if i do all the right stuff going down the arena with my rope and with my horse and where i get i should be set up for a really fast shot and it should be a that should be like the easiest part of the run you know and but uh it was just really hard for me to stay consistent or, uh, you know, not lose a leg or not something like that. And so for my jackpotting, I, I feel like I had to get a lot more disciplined with, uh, with making sure and catching, you know, that wasn't even part of my like vocabulary before I came up here. Like 
there was no making sure and, and catch. It was, you know, try to ride around them and, and catch them. And it's it was just it was just really hard to stay consistent just because there's so many jackpots. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that's got to be the the biggest thing that is that has improved with my roping and just just being able to it, whenever I need to catch, make sure and catch the steers and not do anything crazy. Right. And I think uh, when we say discipline, it's like you you go home and you really refine how to set the shots up. Yes. And, and then you're around a header in an atmosphere pretty consistently between between Cody, between your partner, where mm-hmm. you get a lot of runs that feel realistic. So you've got a really good idea of where your corner, where your swing, everything needs to be. Yes, sir. And so then when you go to competition, the, what you're thinking about is how you're – Right, you know, riding to that spot, right? Yes, sir. And then it's just reading the cow and taking the cow as for each, you know, each individual steer. And that's like that's something you just said ago a minute ago about like Wesley Thorpe that what he does so well is mm-hmm. he, he catches steers like that. Yes. And and I think that that that's what discipline is to me, right? Yes, is, sir. Is whatever you work on at home. Yeah. Get you know bringing that out in competition. And not committing to shots because of the the clock or where you're supposed to be. Yes, sir. But like what's actually in front of you during the run. Yes, sir. No, for sure. I, I agree. And and I think too, it's it's hard because what happens is we might find little things in there that are not working. Yes, sir. And then you gotta go, you gotta go fix that at the house. And then sometimes you gotta fix it in in competition as well, too. And you it, it does take sometimes you have to step back and be willing. And I think that's where the little things like just trust in it or are you really being able to fall on the hey like, I, I love this, this is what I'm this is what I'm doing no matter what yes sir and I think that that kind of helps it all out so. yeah yeah well man I really do appreciate you we, uh, obviously got to do a rundown uh, I think this the second portion you know we're, we'll turn this one into the kind of the podcast part of it but man you, you've done a great job with with your roping it's evolved a lot and uh and it's kind of cool to to see how how you've gone about it and you know is there is there anything you kind of want to add or you know throw in here i i just just you know not just thank you for having me here and everything and you know there's been lots of people that have helped me out along the way you know and my parents have been a huge part and you know these people the uh, ozentowski's they're letting me ride this heel horse i mean it's just there's so many people that have, that are behind me and it's it's a good feeling to to have that you know it, that's nice and i appreciate all of them and and it's what makes this sport special too is it's uh it's a lot of work that goes into it there's a lot of different aspects and, yes, and to get that kind of camaraderie is great and yes, it, sir. It's, it's cool to to see things like that like someone that does that has a great stud horse and to, to yes, kind sir. of be able to get things like that out and to show them and and see what they can do in competition and 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 as things get better like that that's that's pretty special yes sir well thanks again Ross I appreciate it yes sir. 